find a song to describe songs you really can't listen to? Well, I found one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Song of the Week. I'm Underworld Guardian and welcome to my new apartment. Actually, no, I don't own this place. I'm just paying, you know, the campus to live here. Just a quick reminder that videos may be slower to come out because I am now in college and schoolwork of course comes first, ensembles come first, then my channel. So if videos are a bit slower than they normally are, this is why. This week we are going to be talking about a song that I found on Spotify as normal called Songs I Can't Listen To by Neon Trees. Neon Trees is that band that had an animal that came out quite a bit ago. I think it came out maybe 2012 maybe 2011, around that time era. I don't really remember. I wasn't really a fan of the song a bit, but I do know the band. The genre of said song is in the alternative slash indie genre. It was released on May 5th of 2015, and it was on the non-album single of Songs I Can't Listen To. Some basic knowledge about the song, it's got no awards, no special albums, not a cover, and it's not featured in anything. I discovered this song via Spotify's Discover Weekly. I was specifically looking for songs that are by more well-known bands because those songs tend to get more views on my channel, and I like views. <laughs> now it's time for my opinions. Again, don't fight in the comment section, then we be good. So what did I notice musically about this piece? I noticed that it's in the key of E minor, which was a bit harder to deduce because it wasn't quite obvious in the beginning unless if I really was not paying attention in the beginning. And this song specifically utilizes synths, vocals, guitar, bass, and percussion. I, I think it was two types of guitars you get your electric and then I think it was like rustic guitar. I'm not quite sure because I am not a guitarist. I don't know the specific sounds of guitar, if you will. This is what I liked about this song. I liked the lyrics because it was about a breakup, but it's not like, oh, you chose him over me, da 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 It was like something different. It was about like, oh, you know all those songs that we used to listen to when we were together, now I can't listen to them anymore because they remind me of you. People can definitely relate to that because like, I might do research on this at some point in the future for my honors capstone project, um, how our brain like links certain songs to certain memories. For example, First Snow by Transsiberian Orchestra. Whenever I listen to the guitar riff melody in the beginning, not the in pre-intro, like the first time the actual theme is brought up, it reminds me of the first time I was playing the game Fossil Fighters because I was listening to that song while playing that game and I specifically, whenever I hear that part, I specifically remember myself running around the main concourse of the map, just like having a good old time when I was like, 12 or 10. I was like 12 at that time. So I liked how this song is like a different twist on a breakup song. The only other thing I really liked about this song was the instrument style, I guess how you can say it. Like I liked how the instruments sounded. I guess that it was helpful with the synths. And it kind of reminded me of the band Flock of Seagulls, which is like, I believe an 80s band. Don't quote me on that because I really don't remember. I didn't even know if that was the right name of the band. It just like reminded me of that style for some reason. I don't know why. Here's my dislikes. Um, the chorus is very repetitive. Again, like in music, I understand like you have to be repetitive in order to bring across a point. But at the same time, you don't want to get too repetitive or else listeners are going to be like, why are you repeating this 5,000 times? Like the points are even driven home. You don't need to drive home this point any longer. Like it's dead, stop. So I didn't really like it. It also might depend on taste. Like I don't like much repetitive in the chorus where I might just be like biased right now. And it might just be like, I just don't like it in this song in particular. So overall out of 10, I would give it like maybe a six or a seven out of 10. Like the lyrics are different and I will give the song and the creators of the song that the lyrics are different and I really do like it but the song style seems very similar and rather bland like there's nothing that really sticks out to me right now like I just did my laundry I came back to record this video and I can't recall the melody lyric 
chorus line at all, even though it was very repetitive. I hope you enjoy this review of Songs I Can't Listen To by Neon Trees, came out in 2015. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think of this song. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like the meaning of the lyrics? Do you not? Do you like the repetitive? Do you not? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this where I talk about my feelings towards certain songs or other completely different related videos that all relate back to music, let me know below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on those types of videos. And that is it for this song of the week. Keep practicing and I'll see you guys real soon. Unreal Guardian, out. There's a song that I love that you want to play for me. It had all the right chords and a sweet melody.